Alright everyone, this is the Clone Wars Adventures update for October 2013. Let's go to the store and see the hot items. The first one is the Nikto spacesuit outfit. You better not step into your asteroid lot without this rugged spacesuit designed by the Nikto repticians from Kenton. I think I'll be going to my asteroid lot without this because I'm not buying it. We have the Nikto boots for 89, the Nikto spacesuit for 134, the Nikto gloves for 89, and the Nikto helmet for 89. So let's preview this gear, starting with the boots. As you can see there, very interesting. Kind of look like sandals. Next is the spacesuit. It's actually a pretty nice suit, I have to say. Pretty nice. Very interesting. Next is the gloves. Very basic. They're just like hand gloves. And Nikto helmet right there. Alright. Also, in Republic credits, it's not in the hot items or in item sets, so you have to go to single items. But, they've added the rail cannon for members to buy. And it's very cheap, as it is only 8,999 credits. Only 9,000 credits right there for the rail cannon. And right now, we are going to equip the rail cannon in our bounty hunter class. In our mercenary class, that is. Same thing. Whatever. Um, let's go back into weapons. Here it is. Equip. I actually haven't used this yet, so we're going to see how this goes. Of course, this is the one that came with the summer pass, or spring pass, or whatever they called it this year. Um that lifetime members did not get because SOE wants more of our money but the way they're doing stuff with this game they're not going to get it it's actually a decent gun let's shoot this thing it's purple as we know and it's not really that effective because it takes so long to reload and everything and yeah of course it does have the deflector shield and charged shot maybe Oh, look at that. And of course the deflector shield, you have a deflector shield, which reduces your damage taken, obviously. It's a pretty nice rail cannon. Also, as you can see by my head being a pumpkin, it is the Halloween update, which we can battle with Count Dooku and Dark Side Duel, we can get our mask in a lounge, we can wear awesome costumes, and we can play spooktacular stages of Rocket Rescue. That's only one, by the way. So those will be in later videos, but first we're going to actually look at the costumes. And we're going to go back to item sets and go into costume gear. So as we can see for Halloween we have the skeletal clone trooper, we have the blinged out clone trooper, the spike trooper, and the Zillow beast. Now I actually have all of these. Um, all of these for the Skeletal Trooper. And here's the suit. Pretty nice suit. Pretty nice stuff right there. Next is the gloves. And of course the helmet. Skeleton. Pretty nice. We also have the Blinged Out Clone Trooper which I forgot about and spent all my SC even though I wanted this set. So. Phase 1 helmet, of course, but pretty nice. Also the gloves. Very bright on the gloves. Then the boots and the armor, which is very interesting. Got that big metal right there going on. Very interesting. Spike Trooper. I have the armor. Might buy the gloves. There's the boots. And there's the armor, which I own, actually, and I have on in my trooper class. Here's the gloves, which I might buy. And, of course, the helmet. Very nice helmet. And then, finally, the Zillow Beast costume. The Zillow Beast head, which is actually your head getting, getting eaten by the Zillow Beast, interestingly enough. We have the gloves, which are little hand gloves. Okay, are those really worth 89 SC? No. Zillow Beast shoes, which just make your feet Zillow Beast feet very interesting. And Zillow Beast suit with 
a third arm, and a tail. And you know, if you want to be the Zillow Beast, you're going to be a really weird Zillow Beast. Republic credits for costume gear. We have the Wookiee Clone Trooper, but that's not for Halloween. We have the purple fur wampa suit. Look at that head. You're getting eaten by a wampa. A purple wampa. Of course, the gloves and the feet and the armor just makes you look like a giant, weird, fat, purple thing. Pink Tuscan Raider. Shoes. Robes. Looks like a dress. Gloves. And the helmet. How's that a helmet? It's like head wraps with weird eye things. Whoa. Whoa. Where'd I go? There I am. Uh, see, that, that's not really a helmet, but okay. Also, we have the Pirate Jedi. Pirate Jedi peg leg. Pirate Jedi coat. Pirate Jedi gloves. And Pirate Jedi hat. My favorite Halloween gear set. So that's the update for October 2013. Rail cannon and Nikto spacesuit. And of course, there's always the Halloween items. Oh, speaking of Halloween items, we almost forgot some Halloween stuff. We have the decorations. Where's housing? Furniture. Um, where is it? It's somewhere in here. Maybe. Yes, Halloween decorations pack two is for SC. We have Spider Web four, Spider Web one. The Scarecrow bot, which I might buy. Asajj Ventress Lantern. Jedi Lantern. I need like 50 billion of those. Wide Pumpkin. And the General Grievous Cutout. Now in Republic Credits, we do have Halloween Decorations Pack 1, which is Spiderweb 5, Spiderweb 3, Spiderweb 2, the General Grievous Lantern, the Tall Pumpkin, the Count Dooku Lantern, and the Asajj Ventress Cutout. That is October 2013's update for Clone Wars Adventures. Stay tuned for more Felucia Quests, brand new CWA series coming up once that's over. Update videos every month, and more from Larsenator Videos.